Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at a couple of editions of the new NASB 2020 Reference Bible from the Lachman Foundation. Okay, if you've been paying attention recently to the Bible publishing world, you know that the Lachman Foundation, the publisher of the New American Standard Bible, has really been stepping up their game. They've got this new series called the Prime Editions, the Prime Collection Premium Bibles that are really, really fantastic. I've already reviewed a couple of those on my channel. And now they've got an entirely new design called the Prime, not, it's called the Reference Bible, but they also made a Prime Reference Bible. So it's coming in a premium Prime edition as well as a synthetic leather version that's really nice and really, really affordable. So I recently did an unboxing video with these Bibles. I liked them a lot. Their, their first impression was really solid. And now I want to do a deep dive, really show you what the text block does, how it works, type size, paper, all that stuff. We're really going to focus on these two Bibles. And I'm going to show them both to you so you can see the premium edition as well as the leather text edition. So before we dive in, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This is the NASB Reference Bible from the Lachman Foundation. Okay, quick look at the boxes that they come in. So this is the Prime Edition version, NASB Reference Bible, two-piece box. There you see all the specs on the side of this Bible. A little information about the New American Standard. Really nice. And then you get a little slide-through slip case on the leather text edition. Same information about the Bible on the back, all sorts of those. So there you have the two Bibles, left and right. They are the exact same size. They're really the same on the inside. You see this one just has a little bit bigger gap on the leather edition, so it looks a little bit bigger, but really, really beautiful. So let's start with the Prime. Really nice pebbly grain goat skin that they put on these editions of the Bible. I'm going to show you the other two real quick. So you have the little guy, the compact. You have the big bot, big guy, the L put. So you see this one's right in the middle of those as far as the size goes. It's a really nice size. And um, very, very similar to those ones I recently reviewed, the leather and stuff like that is very, very similar. So nice perimeter stitch around the outside, raised spine hubs on the spine, Holy Bible, NASB 2020, and it says Lockman Foundation. Really, really sharp. You got a nice red under gold, like a light red under gold art gilding, a gilt line on the inside. It's edge line construction, it's a Smithstone binding. The black editions like this one come with two ribbons, a red ribbon and a black ribbon. The brown edition, there's a brown edition of this as well, just like my output that I have here comes with black and brown on the ribbon. So you have two options in the, in the goat skin edition, the prime edition, so black versus brown. Really, really nice look and feel. Then you have the, there is a genuine leather edition and then several different colors in this leather text. So this is their blue leather text, which is a synthetic leather. So Still has, no, it doesn't have a perimeter stitch, so it's just straight, clean cover on the outside. Some double tooled lines kind of imprinted there, blind stamped, Holy Bible, NASB. It says Reference Bible, and then it says NASB, Lockman Foundation. Very similar ribbons on this one. You get black and blue. One of mine is kind of slightly got an angle to it, but the other one's straight. They have the ISBN number stamped in the back of this one. You don't get the red under gold, you get a slight silver art gilding on there. And this is a paste down edition, so you see the liner in there. But on the inside, it's gonna be the same Bible. Now, I noted, okay, so let's talk about the size real quick before I dive into the inside. Five and a half inches wide, eight and a half inches tall. This one's about an inch and a quarter thick at the text block. So this one's a little bit thicker because it has a slightly thicker piece of leather than the leather text. You can see, you can kind of see there, just slightly thicker, but otherwise they're the same. So five and a half by eight and a half, that's what kind of the sweet spot for me in terms of what I would call a mid-size Bible. Five and a half by eight and a half. Now, let's open this up and get in here. So this one you have presentation pages, family records, you get into the Copyright page, there you see NASB reference edition, all that information, and then you get to the forward. Info about the translation, how this works, the books of the Bible, like a contents page, and then you get into Genesis. Okay, so let me show you this one. Presentation page, family records, copyright page, it's all, introduction, it's all, 
exactly the same when you get into Genesis. Now, I was wondering when I was doing the unboxing video, I was trying to feel, I noticed that the paper on this LeatherTex edition was an upgrade. Okay, so previously they did these two Bibles, the large print ultra thin and the large print compact. They released them separate. They initially released these in the LeatherTex versions in late, uh, late 2021. And then they came out with the prime editions in the spring of 2022. And a lot of people talked about how much they liked the paper and the Prime Editions. Well, when this one showed up, the LeatherTex Edition, it was definitely a nicer paper than the ones from last fall that were LeatherTex Editions and the other models. And I was trying to see, I thought maybe there's an extra sheen, that, so I, sheen to this one, the Prime Edition. So I reached out to the Lockman Foundation to confirm, and they told me that this is the exact same paper in both of these. It's a 33 GSM coated Bible paper sourced from Asia. These are printed and bound, I believe, in Korea. Is that what it said on the inside? Yeah, printed and bound in Korea. So they are using Asian sourced 33 GSM Bible paper, and this looks fantastic. And they told me that they're switching that to all of their Bibles. As long as they can get their paper, this is what they're gonna be using. It's super opaque, and I just think it's really cool that you get the same paper in the in the less expensive edition as you do in the prime edition. That's a really cool feature of these less expensive editions, that the paper is going to be just as opaque, looks really great on the page. I think, the, so the biggest differences between, let me do that real quick before I dive into the inside. The biggest differences between these two Bibles are gonna be obviously the premium goatskin cover, the art gilding on the pages, the perimeter stitching, the gilt line, all of those kind of aesthetic features. And then the, the, the one that's going to probably drive those things obviously drive the cost up because they're more expensive materials and it takes more time and energy to produce them, but also because of the edge lined construction. That's a super high level add on to this. That's why it's part of the prime collection. But on the inside, once you get to the actual text block, and the, what's on the pages, these Bibles are the same. So it's really about all of, all of those features that kind of set it apart as a premium Bible. So I'm going to open this up and kind of walk you through the text box. So there you have it. Again, five and a half by eight and a half. It's a mid-size reference Bible. This is a nine and a half point type, line matched again on 33 GSM paper. Let me pull this up for you. So you get a two column text. It's paragraph format. You get cross-references and textual footnotes at the bottom of the page. So here you see cross-references down here at the bottom. Textual footnotes are going to be right here at the bottom of the column. Textual footnotes at the column. Does that make sense? So it's the textual footnotes are going to be beneath the column. The cross-references are going to go across the entire bottom of the page. When you get to sections of poetic sections, like here, you get a more verse-by-verse -verse format for poetic sections, obviously in Proverbs and the Psalms, it's gonna look like that. They have these big, bold paragraph markers so you can see where your paragraphs begin. These are nice, big, bold numbers. Let me just hush for a second and let you look at this on the page, nine and a half point. It's a black letter text throughout. It looks really nice. As far as the, um, the references are the full set of references, you get Black letter text, even in the New Testament, I said that already. At the end of the Bible, after Revelation. So Revelation is 1400, so it's a 1417 is the last page of Revelation. So it's a medium-sized thickness Bible. You get a topical index of the Old and New Testament, a two-column. After the topical index, as with some of these other Bibles that they've been doing, you get the book introductions at the back of the Bible. So if I can get to the back of this. After the topical index, so here I am in the Old Testament, Obadiah, Jonah. So they're little short book introductions for every book of the Bible. After the book introductions, you get the parables of Jesus, a little chart for that. And then the miracles of Jesus on the back side of it. And then here's some Bible maps on a slightly thicker, glossier cardstock. I think there was also, did I see a Bible reading plan? Was that what was before it? Yeah, read through the Bible in a year. A little read the Bible plan in there. So you get a lot of features. But it's, yeah, it's full-on reference Bible. You get all those cross-references. I mean, this looks great. It feels great. This is the premium edition. I think I said this on the last ones. They really remind me. They, I think they have a lot of similarities with the Crossway premium Bibles. Very, very nice. They, they remind me of those more than probably anything else in the premium world. And then this guy... You have a really soft and floppy synthetic leather version of the Bible that is 
great paper on the inside. Looks great. I like the blue color of this. This obviously has a little bit more luxury to it, but this is still a really fantastic Bible and it's essentially the same, the same concept. I love the fact that they upgraded the paper on these. This is just really nice, but man, really good. So you think about that mid-size, you have the big option, your large print, ultra thin reference Bible, really big, kind of what I think about when I think about an L put. You have the small one in single column for an on the go, and then they have this third option now for the reference Bible that you still get everything you need, but just a slightly smaller, more mid-size form. I think it's a really, a really solid Bible that um, has a lot going for it. So there you have it. One Bible, one design, but two different options. A super high premium edition, which I think these are great Bibles. I think they're worth the money. They, they're the, the ones I would compare them most to. I think I said this about the other prime editions is the Crossway Heirloom Collection. They remind me of that. They're very, very high quality. But then this one right here is much more affordable. It's less than $30, I think, on their website. And it's still a really, as you saw, it's a really great Bible. So um, I'm going to put links in the description of this video if you want to make a purchase of one of these. If you're ready to go on the NASB Reference Bible, I'll put links in the description to where you can find that. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook where I'm going to post some more photos of these. If you want to chat there with me on social media, that would be awesome to have you over there. And of course, if you have any questions or comments about these Bibles, I would love to hear those. I would love to read them. I'd love to have some dialogue right here on YouTube with you, so drop those in the comments. And before we go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, that helps me reach more people. And I've got lots of fun videos here on YouTube, reviews like this, unboxing videos, comparison videos. So surf around, check out my channel for some other videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.